Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the single family market update for Wilmington, Mass for the week ending January 12th, 2011. So we have two new properties that came on the market this week and one is a development that's been around for a while as you can see. Lot 7 here, Jack Lane has gone under agreement and Lot 12 just, just uh, closed. So we do know that um, this property was in existence, but they just finally processed the paperwork to put it on the market. And um, this is an 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two and a half bath, has the one car garage. Nice, nice property. And then this other one on 10 Silver Lake Ave, which is in a similar area, but this is a completely different property. This is, uh, it's a ten. Uh, it's a, a thousand square foot bungalow. That's a two bedroom, one bath. It is on the market for one hundred and fifty four thousand nine hundred. And obviously, I don't think it will go for any conventional financing. But the, the what I would like to know is that if this eighty three hundred square feet is enough to tear this down and put up uh, a similar house that we just looked at over in Jack Links, I think that would be the best fit. However. I'm not sure if 0.19 will get it done. So let's see um, if it's a corner lot or if it's a uh, just regular on the street here. It's not really telling us. I don't think Google Images have driven by just yet this street because it's really... off the beaten path a little bit. So. All right, moving on. So look for that to go quickly, though. And then we had uh, a property that took about 43 days over on Corey Ave. It's his, um, this was a bank owned as well. We highlighted this property uh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm surprised that it took this long to, to get somebody to put an offer in on that property because it does appear to be of good value. And then we have five Newland Ave. And this is a uh, split gambrel, and uh, these properties, they, I mean, some of the colors you might have an issue with here, but um, this is a 2,800 square foot. That's probably including every single inch of possible living space. But what I'm getting at is that um, these properties have been t kind of tough, depending on where they're located, to move recently. And 319 is obviously a, I think it's a great deal for something like that, unless unless there's something wrong with the house, but I think 319 is really good. So, what's sold? One Canal Street, 295. This was, a, um, I believe it was a project for somebody. You got new cabinetry, new paint. Looks like you might have a couple of windows and the hydro seat here. It's to lay down the grass and um, home completely renovated. Let's see property history. Someone bought it for two thirty-three in uh, two in 1997. So it looks like he just whoever had it had it for a while. And they didn't update it, but somebody bought it in June of 2010 for 180. So let's say maybe he puts in thirty thousand. You're looking at um, two ten. And you get maybe after commissions and closing statements and costs and etc. You're looking at 280, 275. Might be able to make some money there. Nice, good work. All right, moving on. We got lot 12 Jack Lane, and this is that similar house to what we looked at. We know that's a pretty popular development over there by the Shawshine School. 46 Agostino Drive, which is Glen Road to Gandalf, and then on to Agostino, which is um, kind of like behind the senior center, so to speak. <coughs> it's sold for 517. It is uh, pretty close to the asking price, 2,900 square feet, and then that includes the finished basement. And then we got this Lieutenant Buck Drive, and these houses are pretty big. And um, you can see here that uh, it got close to asking. They started at 689 
and they went to 679, ultimately going for 670. No, no pictures here to see what's going on, but it's a brand new house, huge, 3,200 square feet, three car garage, and um, just a big, big place. We got four bedrooms, two and a half baths, probably a pretty cool basement as well. And um, that one took about 300 days, but that's another great deal. So that is what happened this week and um we're gonna throw in the current actives to see what's really trending in this market here all right so the average asking price right now wilmington's 421,000 with the market time of 172 days which is just under six months now what happened this week was uh lower than the average asking price. Things went under agreement at 349 and the market time was 164 days, which is a little less than the average market time for the, the actives right now. And then lastly, we have an average sales price of 475 with a market time of 97 days, which is completely counterintuitive to what we what we say and those things happen. Um, what moved was Agostino Drive and Lieutenant Buck and Jock Lane and Canal Street, and they all moved in a kind of fairly quick manner, except for the Lieutenant Buck Drive. So that tells me that if you average the 419 and the 519, essentially, you're looking at an average asking price of 480, which is higher than the average asking price we're looking at right now of 421. And um, you add up those days, and they're taking roughly a month. So if you have a quality, quality product, some of that higher end stuff, not so much in the 670s, but you're looking in the 480s. At 450 to 550, it's still a pretty um, good market to be in. So that is the market update for Wilmington. If you have any questions, Ryan at RyanCamino.com. See ya.